honor and respect Sister Sancista Brujo Luis. So today I'm going to be doing a video on spiritual colognes and forgive me, scratch that, that is a blooper. I've already mentioned colognes, I'm just going to show you. If you haven't seen my video on 4711, this one I've already opened up. I've been using it. And this is 4711. This is a spiritual cologne that we use a lot in, in Espiritismo. Another cologne that we use, now this is very masculine, unisex, both male and females can use it. It's my favorite summer scent. Another cologne that we use in Espiritismo, La Pompeya. I'm going to show you La Pompeya, and this is La Pompeya, Pompeya, and I'm just going to put them right here, just since I've already opened up the, the video with a blooper, and I'm just going to keep it there, and then the next one, and everyone's talking about Agua Florida, Florida water, Florida water, and the next one is Rev Dior, they smell good, I love the, I like these smell, these are supposed to be for, for female, I guess? I don't care, it smells clean, it smells powdery, it smells fresh, very popular both in Espiritismo, in Santeria, in Voodoo, in Voodoo they use this more for Esulifreda, they use this for the Petro Spirits, um, and Espiritismo, La Negrita, La Madamas, they, they all love this, Colonia is very fresh, very clean, it's more of a toilet water made with a lot of alcohol so it doesn't last long on the on the body it's not it's very clean very fresh smelling very clean so it won't last long on the body but when we're doing a PDD more we don't want the whole room smelling like a perfume factory and it lasts long enough for us to do our work so since I've already mentioned La Colonias I'm just going to show you uh, a lot of them because a lot of people use Agua Florida and Florida Wa Agua Florida or Florida water is one of the most popular ones. But since I already mentioned it, I just wanted to show you these these colognes. This video is in response to one of my followers and one of my friends on Facebook. One of my friends on Facebook uh, posted that he had ordered a Uber, and when he got inside the Uber uh, cab or whatever you call whatever you call it, his ride, his chauffeur. I let out gas and so he had to ride uh, for five minutes with this odor inside uh, the car so this reminded me of something that I want to talk about and something that's died out a lot in the spiritual world it hasn't actually died out it's still part of voodoo and piritimo but I've noticed it's died out a lot in the new world but you can see this in Santeria, you can see this in Espiritismo, you can see this Voodoo, Maria Leonza, Umbanda, all those traditions uh, in the South America and the Caribbeans, they still use this. But it reminded me of something, you know, when he posted that. And so I said, let me talk about that. So everyone knows, this is La, this is La Rev Dior. I'm just going to place them to the side. And this is La Pompeya. I'm going to place it to the side. It's summer out. Okay, summer out very hot. I'm all, I'm an empath. Whatever I touch, uh, I'm always absorbing uh, energies. Still camera view. Sorry about that. Whenever I touch something, I'm always absorbing energy. So I'm constantly trying to cleanse and purify myself. Uh, whenever you touch something, like let's say you go to a flea market or a store or whatever, you, whatever whoever may have touched that before that, you're picking up those vibrations. One thing I like to do is I always like to carry, and there's no way I'm going to carry this big bottle of a 4711 or Florida water. So one good um, idea that uh, one of my friends, Maria, sent me was a bottle of perfume. Empty bottle that you fill up, and she picked this up at a, a craft store. So what I do, this literally fits in my pocket perfectly. And what I do is I add Pompeya, or I'm not, yeah, Pompeya, I could add Rev Dior, um, I could add the 4711, perfect size. It fits in my pocket, it fits in my man bag, whatever it may be. And um, I'm always, you know, in the summertime, spiritually cleansing. Uh, good to purify yourself it's very it's getting very hot and you know the weather the hot air uh 
we might go to the beach, we might go to a party or a barbecue, you don't want to smell like, well, the beach smells okay, but you don't want to smell like a barbecue, um, you're constantly shaking people's hands, you're constantly interacting with people, and so when you're constantly interacting with people, you're absorbing those vibrations into yourself, so I always tell people, keep some spiritual cologne, whether it's Agua Florida or a 4711, again, cleanse yourself, purify yourself, spiritual hand sanitizer, pass it by your neck. So, that reminded me, of course, of my friend on Facebook. He had posted that he had gone in an Uber a cab and some the, the driver had passed gas. Now, of course, you can't. I mean, I mean, I guess someone can, but you're not just going to be doing this inside of an Uber cab. That's kind of kind of disrespectful. I mean, it smells good. Kind of disrespectful, but... There's another thing you can do that a lot of people forget about, and these are part of, they've been part of the spiritual community for thousands of years, uh, just part of human culture for thousands of years, and we have lost these uh, things in the new world. So I want to talk about that a little bit. So in our past video, I talked about los pañuelos to the spirits, okay? How important these are in a lot of our traditions whether it's in Santeria, our altars are decorated with it, in Espiritismo. Uh, these are not just for decorations. These symbolize the spirits, their favorite colors. Uh, and you'll often see Espiritistas either wear it around their shoulder. When the spirit comes down, they like uh, their pañuelos. You'll see this in La 20, the 21 Division, uh, La 21 División, when one of the spirits comes down. They take un pañuelo, or what they call a fula, and they tie it on the wrist, I mean, on the, of the person who's mounted by the spirit. Again, uh, if you're working with Papa Candelo, you will often see, you know, that we tie it around our head. And there's, a lot of people think that these are just decorations on the altars. No, these represent our spirits. Our commission is those spirits within our cuadro espiritual, and you'll see this, like I said, in Voodoo and Maria Leonza, in Espiritismo and Santeria. Some of them are very simple, and some of them are very elaborate. These are very simple. This one right here is by El Barón del Cementerio, or the spirits in El Cementerio. And I talked about las fulas before, or los pañuelos, okay? And I talked about that before. But how do we use that on a general daily basis? How do we use our pañuelos on a daily basis? Because these are sacred items. These are something that you should only use for your spirits, especially when you get uh, initiated into Sanse 21 Division, um, uh, Santeria Voodoo. Have respect for these. These are, these are items of respect. So now I'm going to talk about the traditional. Now everyone knows that I'm an empath. It's summer. It's hot. Uh, I'm always trying to refresh myself, okay? But if you know me, you know that I've always walk around with a handkerchief uh, in my, I guess my right pocket. Yeah, my right pocket. Now, this one is pretty used, but it's a traditional cloth, cloth handkerchief. Now, you can see that it's got stains. Uh, what I do... Well, I'm going to go further. This has got stains because I've had this in my pocket for a week. It's, it smells like cologne. It smells really beautiful like cologne. I keep it in my pocket. Uh, that reminded me of my that, that person who posted in Facebook that he said, oh my God, that he had gone into this Uber a cab and it smelled and he had to take the ride with him. Well, this is what I do every time I step out of my house. This one's a little dirty, but I'm just gonna show you and I'm gonna show you some fresh clean ones. So what I do is literally, okay, take my 4711, my 40, uh, my Florida water, spray my pañuelito down, okay. I have it like this, have it like this. Okay, and this goes in my pocket. This can go in a jacket. Um, I like to keep it in my pocket because the aroma will stay longer. Anyone throws gas, okay, in your car or in the car and you're in it, you just nonchalantly pull this off. And there you go. Okay, you smell it. Also, no, just that. 
you wouldn't believe how long a pañuelo. This is a cloth. This is cotton, 100% cotton, and how long the perfume lasts in it. This one's been in my pocket for a week, and it's got some stains. This is sweat stains. Okay, this is something that is old as time. This is part of our culture. Uh, oof, I think it came from ancient China, about that, 3,000 years before Jesus Christ, or something pretty much older than that. But I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the spiritual cloths and how we use the spiritual cloths. And again, if you're in an Uber and it kind of stinks, you know, like that. Real simple, smells good, smells clean. So here's my pañuelo that I've had in my pocket for a week. It smells like 4711, John Barbados, all the clothes that I like. I haven't washed them. I'm gonna, I wash these once a week. I should wash them probably a little bit more. But if you want, also, here's some Agua Florida. Okay? And you can, what we do in Espiriti, just wet it down. Just nice and wet down. Wrap it up. Don't worry about it. If it's hot, it's in your pocket, it will refreshen you. If you're hot and you're sweaty and you're starting to smell sweaty and salty, you take your banula out of your pocket. Just be careful with your eyes and just wipe down, you know. And you're always constantly refreshing yourself. If you touch things, if you're an empath and you're constantly touching things and you're and you're picking up negative vibrations or whatever it may be, you take your banuelito and you just clean your hands with it. You know what I'm saying? You might, you know, germs, you don't want to pick up any germs. You clean your hands with it and back into your pocket. And that's how I use my pañuelito on a daily basis. So here's another of my personal pañuelos, okay, that I've had for a long time. And you can see there's an L stitched into it. Pañuelos have been part of our culture, handkerchiefs. Kerchiefs have been part of our culture for thousands and thousands of years. They are made out of cotton, cotton, uh, the material cotton. Let me see if you can see that L right there. I just want to show you. I don't know if you can see it in the video. Right there, there's my L. Cotton is a symbol of protection of strength. Cotton absorbs, it absorbs negative vibrations, it absorbs sweat. That's why a lot of uh, cotton clothes, uh, t-shirts are made with cotton because it absorbs sweat. So cotton absorbs negative vibrations, it absorbs um, uh, negative vibrations, and it's also a symbol of good luck, of strength, of purity. Uh, so you will see cotton used a lot in a lot of the, the spiritual works, a lot of many spiritual traditions, and you will often see a piritistas always carry un pañuelo. Okay, now traditionally, this is mine, I'm going to put this way right here, traditionally men's are very simple, okay, this is a men's size, I mean, pretty simple, and women's are more embroidered. See right here. This is nice embroidered. Okay, this is a woman's pañuelo. Nice embroidered. And this is a man's pañuelo in cotton. Okay. And you will see this, like I said, in Piritismo and all that. And a lot of Espiritistas, they do carry it. When you go to Misa Espirituales, uh, the mediums that are working the altar, la mesa, if they have their collares on, what they do is they take off their collares and they wrap them up in their pañuelos when they're going to work the spirit. So the white cloth is a symbol of peace, of purity, of elevation, of protection, because it's made out of cotton. And you will see many cultures in the olden days when women would embroider uh, prayers on cloths and they would give them to their husbands who would go out into war. This was like a form of a charm as of, of, of a form of protection, a form of spell work. So you would see women that would embroider the names of their family or certain prayer onto a cloth and they would uh, give it to their husband as a form of a, as a, as a, as a, a a magical protection or a charm or a talisman that they would carry and in the hopes that they would come back. You will see that this has been used 
for also for peace uh, in times of war there's the, the the waving of the white cloth when you wave a white cloth you want peace you don't want war um, you will also hear of I'm not sure of the king who was from England that he had uh, the I don't know I don't even remember what size his cloth was but his cloth no one could have a bigger cloth than his you know what I'm saying uh, because the white cloth also represents royalty the white cloth is also mentioned in every major religion in Hinduism in Buddhism um, in Catholicism uh, when Jesus was when they were taking Jesus to Calvary Saint Veronica had a white cloth made of, I guess, cotton, I'm not sure, and she wiped Jesus' face on it, okay? And I guess it's one of the, the Vatican's most important relics because it supposedly has the, the rostro, the image of Christ in it. Uh, so you will see the white cloth used in every tradition, uh, mentioned in every culture. In the olden days, no gentleman would leave their house without a cloth. No lady would leave their house without a pañuelo. Traditionally, you know, this is the ladies would hold it so. Okay, so I'm going to use the ladies one. So, okay, man, I'm doing. They would use these two fingers, and they would like so, and wrap it around like so okay men because we're not gonna hold it like that okay well some men do uh, but men we just make a little pocket you'll still see cloth you'll still see banuelos you'll still see handkerchiefs in a lot of people's suits uh, but men traditionally it was like this well, this is the female one I'm gonna show you the man and what they would do it's like that okay uh, again, the, during the times of the Black Plague, you would see a lot of people walk around with a cloth because cloth or the cotton was a symbol of protection. Uh, it was it was a symbol of that they didn't want to absorb the, the bubonic plague or the Black Plague or whatever. So a lot of people would literally walk around with a white cloth. So this is something that's died around today with uh, the, the, what do you call those paper... Uh, cloths that are, are in existence now, uh, but in Espiritismo we still use a lot of the white cloth and you will see that I never ever leave my house. During the summer and during the hot summers, I never leave my house without my pañuelo. Uh, I always spray it down, put it in my pocket if I need to refresh in. It's hot, I need to refresh in. I need to absorb some sweat. Something stinks around me, nonchalantly. I do it like that. Simple. Okay, cotton, symbol of protection, a symbol of loyalty, elevation, purity. We often use the white, 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 white cloth. So here is a pañuelo. It's of silk. And this is the one we traditionally use. Espiritistas, those people who practice it's Espiritismo, Santeria, uh, Voodoo. This is the pañuelos that we usually use to tie uh, around the head to protect the head from lower level entities. Okay, so you will often see the people of Media Unidades who are working at Piritismo, they will often protect, uh, place a, a white bandana, a white pañuelo around the head, the knot behind the back of the head because the back of the head is where lower level entities often take possession. So you will see the Piritistas will often wear a pañuelo around uh, the la cabeza. So it's always advised that you bring a white pañuelo. White pañuelo represents purity, represents your ancestors, represents those highly elevated spirits. Los espíritus de alta luz, los espíritus de pura luz, pure light, enlightened spirits. Uh, so you will often see los espiritistas, los santeros, and everybody use los white pañuelos in their things. And in prayers, often a white cloth is placed on the lap, or collares, or whatever it may be. Often charms are placed inside a white pañuelo. 
or something that's given to a person and handed to a person as a symbol of respect. Now, not all forms of epidemiology do use white. Some epidity, some forms of or, tra or traditions of epidemiology do not use white. Folk epidemiology do. Epidemiology cruzado, epidemiology criollo, uh, umbanda. They use white. This is in honor of uh, the transfiguration of Christ when Christ went up on top of the mountain, and the spirit of Elijah and Moses uh, came down. And in the, the story of the transfiguration of Christ, his clothing turned white, pure as snow. His clothing turned white and he communicated with his ancestors, with his spirits. So we in Espiritismo Criollo and all these traditions, folks, we use white. We always, when we're working the spirit, uh, we always start off with white. We always start off with purity, with cleanliness. It represents the color of birth. There's nothing, there's no story onto it. Uh, and then as, as we go on in life, you know, we add color to our life, but we start off pure and clean. So this is what also white represents uh, within Espiritismo. So there's a lot of meaning on los pañuelos in Espiritismo, okay? Uh, this is not something that we just use just to place on the altar. Each of these uh, pañuelos that you saw right here, all these colored ones, represents a spirit in our cuadro espiritual. They're just not there for decoration. You've got to know what spirit likes what color, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and a lot of people don't, don't know that. A lot of people mimic the pañuelos on the altars without knowing what spirits they represent. But in Espiritismo, we start off pure, purity. We are like the baby, we are pure. We have no story written yet in the cloth. And so we start off pure and white and clean. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't want to make this too long on the spiritual cloth, but it's summertime and where is my dirty one? Cause I don't want to, I don't want to ruin my, my favorite, this one right here. Right there, that's my favorite one. This is my baby. Again, women, you sometimes you'll see them really embroidered. Really beautifully embroidered. And gentlemen often just carry a simple. And they're always made of cotton. Just a simple cotton cloth. This one, let me see. This one is pretty much simple. Let's see that. Let me see if I have another design. I think I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this one. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but this one has lines. Okay. This one's embroidered with uh, white lines around it. Okay, so the gentlemen's are pretty much more simpler, while the women's are more intricate, intricate with lace. Sewn with beautiful lace. If you ever see me on a plane, I'm traveling, I will never leave my house without my pañuelo. And it's usually doused in Colonia, whether it's 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 4711, something that grounds me, something that keeps me comfortable. Whether it's uh, Pompeya, whether it's Rev de Or, or whether it's just simple Agua Florida. I douse this before I go on a plane, I place it in my pocket, I get in the plane, if I feel anxious, if I feel anxiety because I'm high on the, uh, you know, sometimes the, the turbulence gives me anxiety, you'll constantly, or often see me do something like this, it comforts me, it keeps, keeps me grounded. So these are just simple tips. Another thing that I often do when I travel is I take my pañuelos and I, this is a small plastic bag but what I do is I take pañuelos and literally I will spray them down with perfumes and I will place them in a plastic little bag this is a small one, it's usually bigger and I place it with my clothes and I have a nice refreshing cloth, a spiritual cloth with my spiritual clones to cleanse myself, to purify myself and to constantly be refrescado and again, it's summertime. Try to get yourself a little bottle. Get pick these up at uh, I don't know the craft stores. I guess I don't know the craft stores. I think she picked it up. But this it was always in my pocket, literally. And I'm always refreshing up. I like to be, 
you know, if I go to the beach and, you know, if I go to a barbecue and it, I smell like carbon, I'm always constantly refreshing. Uh, if I go to a beach, it's salty, I want to refresh it. If something smells foul around me, you know, I don't want to salt nobody, but I'm like, like that. Anyways, this is Sansi Dobruho Luis. I'm going to end the video right now. I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Please leave your comments down below. Please uh, smash that little bell button so you can get notifications of when I post uh, my videos. All right? Much respects, much love. Lo quiero mucho a todo corazón. This is Sancita Brujo Luis. Happy summer. I'm going to have one more uh, cologne uh, video for you uh, in, in, within a month or so. Sancita Brujo Luis.